Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Dr. Rishi Desai, and today on Raise the Line, I'm happy to be joined by Dr. Jeffrey Burns, Chief of Critical Care Medicine at Boston Children's Hospital and Professor of Anesthesia at Harvard Medical School. Dr. Burns did some early research on the impact of COVID-19 in children and leads a monthly discussion with pediatricians from around the world on the implications of the disease in kids. I'm looking forward to asking him all about that and other aspects of his work on today's show. So thanks so much for being with us today. So I, I'm curious, do you want to just kind of starting with a little bit about yourself and your own path into medicine? Yeah, as you noted, um, I do cri critical care for children. Um, when I was in medical school, I kind of quickly gravitated to the notion that uh, critical care uh, combined physiology uh, at the bedside, and that was something that I loved. And so I, the big decision was whether I did adult or pediatric. I chose pediatric and trained at Boston Children's Hospital, was a medical student there, a resident, a fellow, and now faculty uh, after some 30 years. And uh, you and I had some joint training experiences together um, there as well. Um, I love what I do. A lot of people think that taking care of critically ill children um, must be very stressful. It is they often ask about burnout. And what I often say is uh, burnout's boredom and frustration. Uh, burnout's not acuity. Um, and so I love what I do because over 98% of the children I take care of are going to live. They're going to go on, they're going to outlive me and do great things. So I've been fortunate to find the field um, that I really enjoy. You know, maybe a final question is just uh, your advice. You know, we have a lot of folks that are training up right now to go into the medical fields, uh, nursing field, PAs, you name it. Uh, what would you tell these early healthcare professionals as they're sort of emerging in, into a world that's obviously very different from what it was a year ago uh, about sort of charting their path in, in clinical medicine? Um, I would encourage anyone who thinks that they're interested, I would encourage them um, to do it. Being in healthcare, I think, is one of the most satisfying things I could imagine doing. Yeah, you're caring for other human beings. Um, if you help them a little or you help them a lot, you were there to make a difference in their life. Sometimes that means helping them at the end of their life. And that's as important as a successful resuscitation. But I can't imagine anything more important right now. Um, there are many important things that, that are required uh, in society, many important jobs and professions. But, you know, a profession where you can help others, uh, that the whole effort is to do good, and that around the world, um, collaboration with others. Nothing crosses borders in our world, our polarized world, like a willingness to care for a critically ill child. We don't agree on food or water rights, but you should see this collaboration. Um, everyone, you know, drops their egos and their, their, you know, their needs at the door when it's talking about, all right, we got to pull together. What do we know about how this is affecting children and how can we work better? And it's one of those bright spots in life. It really is. Thanks for watching this preview of Raise the Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series, please go to osmosis.org forward slash Raise the Line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.